Hi everyone, Patchman21 back with another ghastly unboxing. And it's an unusual one today. We're gonna have the World of Wizard blah, 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 blah. The World of Wizardry by Giga. And it's a special edition box. Bullseye. Okay, um, short story. Ordered this by accident. I saw an advert um, or an email came through from Geek Gear saying, "Oh, we're doing a special edition Geek Gear box. It's uh, 44.99, so this is the price up there, uh, with shipping 47.98. So that's what I paid for it. Nowhere on the email did it say anything about World of Wizardry. That just wasn't there. It was Geek Gear special edition. So." There you go. I'll show you the, uh, the the link, the email that was sent to me. So no reference to uh, World of Wizardry. So unfortunately, I've got this now. I'm not a massive Potter fan, but I also don't hate it. So hopefully there's going to be some good kit in here. So uh, there is a link in the description to a money off code for this. So uh, first time you go to uh, Geek Gear and order one of their boxes, use my code and you'll get a few shekels off. And obviously I'll make a few pennies as well towards my next box. All right, so I'm going to open it up. And give us some, some tissue paper, which you can probably hear. And it's there's quite a bit of stuff, a lot of uh, a lot of wearables, which is a little bit disconcerting. So I'm going to start with a T-shirt, and this is blame the nargles. So you know, nargles are those funny little mole-like mole-looking creatures from uh, uh, marvelous or fabulous or stupendous or, or slightly wobbly beasts, and we to find them. So that's that's the T-shirt. It's actually really good quality, as usual. It's uh, Gildan, and it's in my size because I thought it was just a generic box. So yeah, I'll boot. All right, so it's it's nice, but it's too flowery for me. It's gonna uh, it's gonna be a little bit uh, meh. But uh, there you go. Such is life. Let's have a look at the next wearable. The box is really heavy, so I uh, I'm going to tip over the table, and it looks like there's a a hoodie. Okay, and it's 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 got the Patronus on there or Bambi, I don't know, one of the two. And it's always and it's got Snape on the back with always. Is that Snape? It doesn't look like Snape. I think it's supposed to be. If it isn't, please put something in the description of that. That's actually a piss poor rendering of Snape. Unless of course it's somebody else. If it is somebody else, tell me. Uh, but I could definitely never get away with this. It's just too effeminate. Um, it looks okay, I suppose, as as they go. But uh, no, I'm going to have the uh, the Bambi side up for that one. Ugh. There we go. So a uh, a hoodie, a zipless hoodie. <laughs> My own stupid fault. I can't really complain. Some other bits and bobs in here. Uh, there's a big ass mug. By the looks of it, we have a ceramic cauldron mug, which is that fella. Ceramic cauldron mug. Pop it out, give a bit more of a detailed look, if I can get it out of the goddamn box. There we go. So it's just a ridiculously big mug. So it's got the, uh, the Hogwarts emblem on it, Harry Potter there, and the Hogwarts emblem there as well. So, hmm, it's supposed to be all right for soup or something. There's another box in here, and this is a pop. So I'm glad I got, I think it's a pop, is it a pop? Yes, no, it's a figure of some sort. This is a rock candy, so it is a Funko uh, vinyl collectible, and it's Luna Love Good in a what looks like a lion uh, lion outfit and this is Funko full convention exclusive 2017 so there she is that's actually really nice I'm not a big um, rock candy fan I've got a couple of them floating around but um, I'm more of a traditional you know Funko collector there's the bobbleheads so let's take her out 
going to stand. So, there you go. I'll put it on the Whirly Gig of Death so that we can see in more detail, but uh, that's it. But uh, hmm. apparently this is one of 250, so completely exclusive. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of this stuff. So when I say get rid of, I don't mean give away. I mean probably flog it. Uh, there's, there's some other bits in here. Looks those look like a pin. Now this is the World of Wizardry Geek Gear exclusive uh, pin. And it's the sorting hat. I'm not going to get it out of its box. Limited to 750, wear it with pride. So I might hold on to that, might, might gain a few pennies as it goes along. It, it, it actually looks a little bit more like the uh, turd emoji than it does the hat, but uh, well, that's just my opinion. There's a poster in here, in a tube. So another Geek Gear exclusive, so we have to uh, get it out of its... Oh, straight away I've torn it. <laughs> the very first thing I did was tear the damn thing, so well done. Awesome packaging on this, or just stupidity on my part. And it's one of these weird long ass, as it say, 422nd Quidditch World Cup. So it's a, it's like a bannery, postery, hangry thing. Again, ripped it, so this asshole that I am, wrecked it. But it's not my sort of thing anyway. Wouldn't, wouldn't want it, wouldn't use it, wouldn't put it up. Uh, so there we go, a poster. And it looks like there is, there was a, a little magazine, a little rag, and there is a something quite heavy by the looks of it, and a box is empty, so I'm gonna make sure it's empty falling down that rabbit hole before. Yep, it's definitely empty. And this is a display metal print. So that's that, whatever the hell that is. And here we have them on their boats and whatnot. So I'm not really sure what that's about, how it works. I'm not gonna undo it. I'm not gonna do anything with it. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It, it is, it is, that is, that is what it is. There you go. It is what it is. So I'll put that there. Uh, massively, massively disappointed in myself. I'm sure if you were a Harry Potter fan, this is amazeballs. For me, it's, it's a bit of a bag of crap, really. There's a silly mug. There's a, two items of clothing I'll never wear. There's quite a nice statue. I and mean, it's, it's, it's a handsome little statue, but yeah. It's, you know, it isn't a standard one that I collect. It's a rock candy, so not for me. Poster and an unusual print. Again, you're probably screaming, I should know what that is, Patchman, you idiot. But I don't, and I really don't care because it isn't one of the things I like. I should pay more attention. The money had gone out, and even the email returned to me saying, congratulations, you've got the, you know, one-off shit. Uh, there you go, well done, pat on the back. It still didn't mention World of Wizardry, and it wasn't until... I got it. Say so it shipped your World of Wizardry special edition. I mean, fun. Oh my goodness! I'm going to get something that I don't really want, but it was already paid for. So I thought, well, let's see how it goes. And here it is. Um, I'd say mediocre at best for a special box. Yeah, not really that special. And again, that isn't me just being negative for the sake of being negative. I genuinely don't think you could really say special about this maybe because you've got a hoodie in there they think it's special i don't but that's just me um and these one of 200 and is that what they mean what sorry one of 750 is this one of so many is that one of so many is that a lot rare as rocking or shit i don't know but um Either that or I've opened completely the wrong box. Who knows? Anyway, they've got their little, their little rag thing here. And yeah, it's just explaining what it is. Uh, posters, pins, 
there we go this month in place of a normal print we have given you a world of wizardry inspired display which are all hand signed by the master of production so hand signed by the person who produced it okay right and that's it oh that, that, apparently the hoodie glows in the dark so even less want to wear it because it glows in the dark um no no and again no i just want to see who the person on that is supposed to be fantastic hoodie uh, depicting everyone's favorite uh, potions master wear it in commemoration for this amazing fallen wizard now i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna bring this up and ask you with your hands on your heart in all honesty does that look like snow? I'll try and get as flat as possible. Does that look anything at all like him? Up close, up close. Look at that. Look, look into his eyes. That is not Snape, is it? It doesn't look anything like Snapey. Ah, Snapey, because that's, that's me on the bottom. Right, that's it. Tell me what you think. Um, I've I've hung this out for far too long. So um, the the magic word is going to be uh, mediocre. So yeah, if I say the word mediocre, I appreciate you uh, getting god damn eleven and a half minutes the, in this far into the video. So congratulations, well done indeed. Um, I'd also like to say a massive thank you to everybody who subscribed to me. I really appreciate it. You've got me over the hump for one thousand uh, with a few days to spare for uh, February the uh, the twentieth. So thank you all very much. If you are watching and you aren't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get uh, warnings about when my uh, videos are up, so you can ignore them and like and share all that all that lovely goodness. Uh, anyway, uh, now we've done that, let's do this. Today's patchy fact is that the only natural predator of the uh, the UK's grey squirrel is the squirrel hawk, hmm. also native to the UK. Learn something new every day, although it is complete and utter nonsense. Anyway, I've been Patchman21. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.